What's good? It's your boy T-R-E-N-T, and I'm back one more again. This time I'm back with a brand new album review, album reaction, an EP, mixtape, whatever y'all want to call it, by the one and only Sweetie. You dig? Uh, she dropped a brand new project, and it's already talks about it. I don't know if it's good talks or bad talks, but I want to be fair and listen to it. And unlike other YouTubers and reactors, I do not skip the song. I do not pause. I react to each song. It go track by track, and I grade each song zero to ten. You dig? So I want y'all to stay tuned to the end, and y'all gonna hang with us. We both gonna give our honest opinion. This is her first time listening to it. My first time listening to it. Hopefully it's y'all's, and y'all could comment. You dig? But here we go, sweetie. You fucking you doing a bunch of making reaction vids. <laughs> I hate you niggas that make reaction vids. <laughs> no, I'm not liking that. Not you, but like these people. Yeah, just keep signing them goddamn beauty deals and shit, like, <laughs> sign them yeah. deals, she even, like, on some real shit, even when she got the McDonald's meal, fuck, no, oh, fuck, you, you shouldn't have even brought that shit up, let me tell y'all, I, I did a reaction, I when she came out with the sweetie meal at McDonald's, y'all yeah. go type in right now, Lil Trent Music, McDonald's, sweetie meal, I did a reaction on that hoe, they fucked up my order. Could the shit come with like some wing, like, no, not about to say wings, some nuggets, like some motherfucking a burger, and like some type of sauce and shit. They fucked up my order, bro. 
They fucked up my order. That order ain't about shit, bro. That sweetie meal is just a nugget on top of a burger. That's it, bitch. And I don't, I'm, I'm they just gave her that shit, thinking that she gonna it. sell. Like, nigga was buying that shit you know, anyway. They bought that Travis Scott. Yeah, that Travis Scott. That whole head. Who's was with Travis Scott? Oh, my God. That's all that McDonald's <laughs> shit. Nigga was ordering that shit anyway. <laughs> I just like Travis Scott. He put the little barbecue hey. sauce on this shit. Oh, yeah, baby. But... Let's talk about the song, bro. It's 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 That's trash, and if the beat a last song, it's, it was it. That's it, and it's trash. I give it a one. Yeah. Like, let me be honest with y'all. I was gonna react to this song, this whole EP or album earlier this week, but she sold only two thousand records, bro. That ain't a lot, bro. She sold two thousand, so I was already feeling like. Oh, she don't got nobody really fucking with her music. No. It's a small few. Like, she got, like, on this song, it got 88,000 views. So, it just got to be a select few that's fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? And but the um, Bay Area. The Bay Area, the people who are real fans. She got fans. Let's not act like she don't got fans. You did. But, um, the fans that's fucking with it is it's her real probably her day ones and it's not enough i'm just mad because i know some more talented artists more artists that get less views than her less notoriety and she just she's a poster girl of a pretty girl she's the pretty girl poster girl you know what i'm saying like even with meg the stallion meg the stallion pretty to me but she got friends around her Motherfucking um, Cardi B, she pretty. She got friends around her. Nikki so big at the top. And I'm talking about rap chicks, but um, Nikki so big. She don't need friends, but she got friends. But um, she got family and friends. Sweetie, she just like on a long island. Like, we looked at them like relationship goals when she was with Quavo. I feel like Quavo really up her status, like, made her feel like, she could um be somebody in this game, but the music, if we just speaking for music alone, her music not hidden. I'm not saying she ain't a star. She should try acting, she should try modeling, get these deals. But even if she wanna do music, she need to collaborate. She need to be one of them girls that's featured on a lot of people's songs and get her, you know what I'm saying? Her um Get them years in, like have everybody fuck with you. You can't be out here by yourself. She don't fuck with no fee other female. I only seen her on that song with Doja Cat. Besides that, I haven't seen her on other people's records. Not a lot of people that's popping. Like, she should have been did a song with City Girl. She should have been did a song with Megan Thee Stallion. She should have been did a song with Cardi. Cardi be still dropping. One thing about Cardi, she only put out one album. And Cardi still be dropping singles with other chicks. You know what I'm saying? Just the, her latest single she did with Glorilla. Glorilla, the hottest thing, like for a female, Glorilla is the hottest thing that came out this year. And Cardi B still reached out to her like, if Sweetie don't collaborate with no females, she gonna get, she gonna get left behind. Because musically, Ain't nobody checking for that shit. It's too many females. And the fucked up part, females getting they shine on. I shouted out Lotto in the earlier um, video. Lotto had a solid album. Even though Lotto, 130 of her songs got leaked, which means that they got writers. They got people that's putting these songs together. They sharing them with other females. But the other females' music is sounding good. Like Lotto, regardless she's writing her own music or not, her album sounds good. Um, your girl Carla Rae, her music, some of it is good, some of it is bad, but Carla, Carla Rae album sounds good. No matter who put it together, it sounds good. That's the only thing Sweetie misses. She not making no music that sounds good to the masses, not just to oh, your fans. Yeah. You got to have people that's not your fans like me that, that are fuck oh, with your yeah. song. So I'm going to do a quick little run through. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hold y'all. It, it's six tracks on here. 
Don't say nothing. I gave it a okay. I said it's average. Boss Chick, I said it was average. And that was me being nice. What song do you remember? Pussy is the only one I like. It gave me an eight. I may replay Pussy because I just like saying Pussy. Pussy. And the only reason I really like that I had it when I was doing music in the army. I came out with a song. Hey, y'all go check out my song. It's on YouTube somewhere, Lost in there. Girl, give me that pussy. Yeah. Can I take it home with me? Girl, it. give me that <laughs> pussy. It was like a little silly record, but it was talking about give me that pussy. And that that's what that type of song reminded me. That's the only good song I gave, and it's an eight. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Handle My Truth, she gave it a 10. I gave it a, a two, I think. Uh, memorable, it wasn't memorable. No reception, I don't need the no reception on this song. Wow. So this EP, she could have kept that shit. Literally. On some real shit, she could have kept that shit or at least wait till next year at a good time when it wasn't, like when a, let the female, like let Gorilla Heat calm down a little bit. Let all the other girls Heat calm down because Dochi, you got Dochi coming up next. Dochi popping now. You got a lot of females popping. So, she should wait till these girls, get, let the girls shine, get their shine on and then drop some quality music because you only selling 2,000 records on a, a, a mixtape that like, you got you got you got 200 on a, even on her single, she got let me see, this whole got 282 if it was that good, half the motherfucker should have bought the record. That single life gonna go down in history as the worst album. And matter of fact, she she I ain't gonna lie. Anybody who subscribed to me, December, I'm putting out the top ten best albums that came out in 2022. I'm putting out the best verses that came out in 2022. And then I'm doing the best songs that came out in 2022. Them the three albums. Songs I'm gonna put out in December. Stay tuned for that. But she motivated me. She motivated me to put the best, I mean the worst projects or albums that came out this year. I'm gonna do the worst albums that came out this year. I'm gonna come up with a list. Oh my god. And she might be in there because She's I gave them songs. Way. I gave too many songs bad grades. When I usually I, even if I give a song, if even if I give an album nothing but sevens. I qualify that as a good album because I gave it good grades. Most of my grades was bad grades. She gave a whole bunch of bad one. grades. She only gave one authentic. good song, and I only gave one good song. So if y'all fucking with this album, it's probably one song that y'all gonna fuck with. And I don't know which Literally, one it is, six. but let me know what y'all think about this song. What y'all think about out um, the album? What y'all think about Sweetie? What songs are y'all favorite songs on this album? Do y'all got, you know, whoever watched it is probably a Sweetie fan. I'm just being honest. <laughs> this is my first impression. You know what I'm saying? But it's not even worth replaying just to get, because some songs you do got to replay up again. again. Yeah, like they not songs. even worth listening to. The, the Pussy, the only one I may replay. And, I and I'm scared if I replay it, I'm a, I am ain't going to like I it. I have a two. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, man, make sure y'all follow me on all my social media platforms and Lil Trent Music. That's Lil Trent Music. It's the same as my YouTube channel. So subscribe to my channel and then follow her. She going to be in the uh, description. So make sure y'all follow her. She got a podcast. You did check her podcast out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got more music reactions. I'm going to be consistent with y'all. I want y'all to help me grow. It don't cost nothing but to subscribe. More albums, more music coming on every day, every night. I'm going to do a um, reaction video. So until next time. Ah.